What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay. Welcome to my channel, Still Becoming. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and today we're going to be having a discussion regarding mental health with your children. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe down below. On this channel, we talk a little bit about everything from raising kids to dating, relationships. Um, but for the most part, it's really just about how we can all elevate, especially women, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. So please make sure you subscribe down below. I'm new to this uh, YouTube stuff, so I'm going to be trying to post content as much as possible, okay? But without further ado, let's get right into it. So as I said earlier, May is Mental Health Awareness, and coincidentally, my son actually happens to be going through a little bit of a rough patch right now. Um, he has been struggling with just adjusting to school, dealing with a few bullies um, there, and then some issues with his father. So this past week was a little rough for him. He had a little bit of a breakdown, and he revealed some concerning things to me. Um, which made me want to spark this conversation because I know there are a lot of people out there who are dealing with this right now. It sucks because my son is generally a happy kid, um, the kind of kid that really wants the best for everybody around him. And he's so funny because he'll come home to me talking about mom, you know, I'm like a little counselor at school because people come to me asking me for advice. And um, he's like, sometimes, you know, They'll bring me as in as a mediator, basically, where I got to listen to one side, I listen to the other side, and then I'll be like, okay, this is what we're going to do. And I'll just be cracking up at him because it's just so funny. But nevertheless, even with all the positive energy that he's putting out there, he still has had some challenging moments. And, you know, basically kids can be very, very cruel. So he's been just really trying to adjust with dealing with that since he's entered junior high school. Ever since he started the sixth grade, our conversations have increased a lot. I literally talk to him about everything and try to break things down for him as much as possible. Um, but at the end of the day, he's still just a child and his brain is developing. So it can be hard for him to understand why people do the things that they do. And hell, even as adults, you know, it's hard for us to understand why some of these people out here are doing this. Because it's like, you know right from wrong and I don't bother you. So I don't understand why you're bothering me, but... That's a whole nother story, okay? So my strategy has been to just equip him with as many tools as possible, um, but even then, it's still just not enough. Me and my son have a really close relationship and he opens up to me a lot, but at the same time, I know I'm his mom. I know he ain't telling me everything. And so he feels like there is nobody in his life that he can just totally be open and honest with in that way. Um, so I really wanna create that space for him. I don't want him asking his friends for advice because that might lead him on a further path of destruction. And so I would rather him get the proper guidance from somebody should he be in any uh, trouble or just, you know, needing, just trying to figure things out and kind of want to just be open and talk to somebody about it. He doesn't have anybody that like that in his life. So I would really like to just provide that space. For him. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, but this generation of kids are going through a lot and facing challenges at a lot earlier age. And I feel like my generation did. The social climate that we live in is a freaking beast and a lot of people are really unable to cope. So I can't even imagine, like uh, adults not able to handle certain things um, properly and just really have those emotional tools to deal with it. I can't even imagine a child, okay? Because their brain is not even, they can't even understand everything yet. So it's, it's really crazy to think about that. But like I said, a lot of kids are unable to cope. You know, they are suffering from anxiety, depression, suicide, um, taking drugs to try to numb the pain instead of, you know, really seeking help. And it's just really, we live in a crazy time right now. So before my son even goes down that road, because I know he has opened up to me and told me that sometimes he feels like he has a little bit of anxiety, I have decided to create a safe space for him. I'm going to put him in therapy. Um, he's only 12 years old, but I think it'll just be really vital for him right now because I grew up in a whole, like I said, I grew up in a whole different generation. We're not dealing with the same issues that our kids are dealing with today. And I really want him to be able to have that guidance where he can go open up, um, not feel like he's going to get in trouble or be judged for anything that he says. And everything is pretty much confidential aside from the fact if he's going to harm himself or harm anybody else. Um, but I just, like I said, I really, really think that that is the best idea for him right now. I'm only one person and I can only do so much. And at the same time, I've been teaching myself a lot of things. So it's almost like we're kind of growing up together in some sense, as far as like mentally and emotionally, because anything that I learn, like I try to pass it on to him, but it's happening in real time. So I might not be able to get him the tools as quickly as I can. So like I said, it would just be great to just have that additional reinforcement 
to help and I don't know if any of you have already put your kids in therapy or maybe thinking about it but I think it's something to definitely look into because like I said we can't do everything we can't be there all the time and we can only do as much as they let us in so in addition to the therapy I really want to focus and make sure that my son has a safe space when he comes home because when they're out in the world especially at school they already have a lot to handle you know what I'm saying like they're trying to figure out how to be themselves because that's what we told them to be. We told them to be themselves, but a lot of kids are out here trying to pretend to be something that they're not just so they can look a certain way, so they can fit in with a certain group. They're dealing with bullies, gossip. Um, they're trying to figure out what clique they need to be in. And so when they're at home, they're not doing any of that. They just need to be themselves, happy, you know, goofy whatever it is that they want to express they can do that here i think as parents we can sometimes forget that all this is going on in their day so when they come home they also have responsibilities that they need to take care of and we need to make sure that homework is getting done and so we can be a little bit hard on them you know i know for me personally like i always want my son to just try his best i'm not asking for him to be perfect but i'm asking for him to be honest i'm asking for him to try his best and just kind of take care of the things that he's responsible for at home you know whatever chores whatever that may be so it's very essential that we spend quality time with them and just really be relatable as possible you know take off our parent hat for a moment share our personal stories you know the things that we failed in the, the mistakes that we made how we got back up and you know what we did from there because that's the best way for them to learn you know really take it from a conversation standpoint the goal is to talk with them and not at them we wish that we could protect them for everything but we honestly have no control over what goes on in the world and for me it's i feel like it's twice as scary because i'm raising a black male um so i worry about a lot of things but no matter how many times we uplift our kids and just give them as many tools as we can when they go out in the world and encounter these matters in real time and often alone it's just totally different it really really is different so that's pretty much where I'm at with it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, how are y'all raising y'all kids in this new day and era? Please share your personal stories down below and offer any advice that you may have. But most importantly, check on y'all babies, okay? Because they can kind of be good at hiding stuff. And if you have multiple kids, obviously your attention is a little bit spread out. So it can be a little bit harder to figure out what's going on. Um, but make sure you spend time with them one-on-one -on -one when you can. You know, I had a friend whose child was cutting themselves and she found out, you know, months later because she was hiding it so they are really good at hiding things so you want to make sure like I'm kind of all over my son like what's going on <laughs> not too terrible but I do I do check in you know I might check his phone every now and again he's only 12 so I have a right to do that <laughs> uh, but like I said leave your comments down below please make sure you thumbs up this video make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all next time I'm gonna try to get get as much content on here as possible I'm new to this so I'm a little bit slow but also check me out on my other platforms at Instagram where I've been posting a lot more regularly uh, Instagram is JR still becoming my Twitter is JR still becoming and then I also have um, a website, jrstillbecoming.com. So please make sure you guys check me out. Till next time, deuces.